so it's um monday evening I'm just gonna go to bed i'm i skipped my run today got to do a recovery run but uh sunday did my endurance run yesterday yeah just legs felt really tired by the end of the night last night and today i've had this like niggle behind my knee um and it's just yeah just too much I, it, it probably could have got it felt a lot better this evening um but i just thought take it easy have a day off and then hopefully i don't know if i can wake up tomorrow morning and try and just get out straight away first thing and then just catch up on maybe do two runs tomorrow or something like that but we'll see <laughs> over the bridge uh, which goes over the uh, river way uh, some few rowers out so it's pretty cool sculling pretty nice nice and peaceful yep this morning uh, up early I missed my uh, run yesterday it was a Monday yesterday it's now Tuesday the 6th of November um, my legs are trashed I'm not gonna lie to you um, my left calf muscle was uber tight when I woke up um, well, when I got out anyway, started running, it's eased off a little bit, which is good, but the inside of my left knee is quite sore as well. I'm, I, I kind of, uh, I'm not one of these runners who just keeps running over injury, but I am running over injury, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I, I've, I've had this before, so I'm kind of managing it, um, but I'm taking it really easy today. It's just a recovery run. I'm just going to turn my watch off. Um, it's a recovery run, so I'm just taking it super easy, and it is easing. It's not getting worse. So I think I'll go back and use the roller and just try and roll it and get it um, get it a bit better. <laughs> right. For some reason, I feel pretty energised tonight. Uh, been up in Leicester. I've been in the car about six hours. Got home. Going to have an early early run. So it's now about six o'clock. But yeah, for some reason, feeling good, feeling energised for this workout, and it's going to be a tough one. I've got, um, so well, I've just done a 15 minute warm up. Now I've got to do five intervals. Each interval is three minutes full on top speed, RPE 10, and then I've got three minutes of recovery. I've got to do that five times, so it's going to be hard work. Me and Bruce. Bruce, you ready? Ready, ready mate. You ready? Yep, Bruce is ready. Confuses the. Uh, heck out of him going round and round in circles but I have my little loop and I stick to that otherwise I find a few hills and there it's just too tough so gonna have a go RPE 10 that is in the hurt locker see how I get on <sighs> right so that was a tough tough workout but it went well apart from I have a niggle and the back of my knee just here um, it's been a uh, playing up over the last few weeks building 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 and uh, yeah, it's a little sore. Fortunately, when I run, it's not so bad, um, but probably tomorrow it's gonna to be hurting. It, it was quite sore on Monday, I took Monday off. Um, we're now on Wednesday, so it was all right though. I kind of feel, I've gotta go and probably see someone about it, but if I leave it for a couple of days, it goes away. So I'm not too worried about it, because it's recovering, and I'm just thinking it's maybe muscle tiredness, and you know, it, it feels quite a bit tight, but it's not a pulled muscle. Uh, so yeah, bit of a niggle but we will see but that's a good workout so you know full pace for three minutes um you know and doing that five times is very tough on the legs so uh and now uh, what, what are we in i think we're in the third week of aerobic stage now so it is you know my legs have taken a bit of a beating so yeah good though good uh good workout so pretty happy and yeah that's about it so uh out for a run friday night and as you can see the weather is insane um I think we've got a bit of a southerly storm coming in. Well, coming in, has coming in. I mean, it's super windy. Um, 
and it's pouring with rain, so I'm getting drenched. But I love it really, it reminds me of my lakes in the day, up in the Lake District with weather like this, so uh, <laughs> it's all part of the fun. If you're sitting in the pub having a beer, fair play. So that was seriously wet and windy. Um, it's easy, well, good workout, fast, 30 minute sprints, 30 minute recovery. So I did a 20 minute warm up and a uh, 50 minute cool down. So I've been out for about, uh, what's it, 48 minutes, but yeah, super wet, super windy. Type of night you uh, don't really want to go out in, but uh, hey, it's uh, all part of the cause, isn't it? So I guess when I tow in the line at Marathon de Sabla, I'll be looking back on my training thinking, yeah, man, I got out there, I did some crazy shit and did it and got it done. So uh, yeah, good stuff. Right, dog, can dry you off, mate, aren't we? I'm drying you off. We are. Good lad. Ah. <laughs> yeah, mate. End of the week. It's Sunday night and I am pretty gutted. No running this weekend. The injury came on strong on Saturday. Uh, hasn't really felt much better on Sunday. So I've just stopped running now. Going to try and take it easy. I've um, rolled. I've... You know, had a bath, bit of massage, you know, trying to get it going again. And uh, no, no chance. So going to see if I can get running next week. Um, but there we go. So that's the end of that. Next, a bit gutted because next week's quite a difficult week for running. You know, aerobic phase is just peaking next week. And there's some quite cool uh, workouts I want to do, which coach has given me, but I can't. So, yeah, definitely. I am gutted. Anyway, going to leave the weekend and uh, go out with a bit of a bang.